Let's take something boring like Pythagoras and take it on holiday to New York. So imagine this, you've just landed in New York for a holiday and your hotel is in Midtown and you're planning to walk to a famous cafe that's eight blocks east and six blocks north. And you know that New York is laid out like a giant grid. So it's like neat squares everywhere. Now, if you walk along the roads, you'd cover 14 blocks in total. But what if you were to cut across? So imagine walking straight through Central Park, but diagonally. Now that diagonal path is shorter. We all know that it's, it's a lot quicker, right? But how much shorter exactly? Now, this is where Pythagoras steps in. So over 2,500 years ago, he discovers something timeless, that in every right angle triangle, the two shorter sides, when you square them and you add them up, they equal the square of the longest side. So we normally write this as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, when you first look at it, it's just numbers. But if you were to pause for a moment, that little formula is hidden in almost every man-made structure and natural design that you see. So it's how surveyors measured land before GPS and it's how skyscrapers stand tall without toppling. It's even how engineers calculate the safest way for planes to descend. So today, we're going to explore this theorem like tourists in the city, starting with that cafe journey. So we'll see how this ancient idea still guides how we move, how we build and how we connect. And by the end, you'll see why this isn't just about triangles. It's actually about uncovering the shortcuts and hidden patterns of the world itself.